Hi, Eve Harrow with the Jerusalem Conference, second day, January 28th, 2009, in Jerusalem. I'm sitting here with Jacob Schreiben from Sterot Media Center, who just made Aliyah three weeks ago and already finds himself very much involved with what's yep. going on here. So welcome to the country and welcome to this world. Thank you. Um, what are your reasons for moving to Israel? Um, I've always, I grew up in Young Judea, Zionist youth uh, movement of Hadassah. Right. So I've always believed in Zionism. I've always followed the movement. and. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been my plan ever since I, ever after I um, finished my degree in the States that I wanted to make Aliyah. And I finished my degree this in? past December in uh, Middle Eastern Studies and Hebrew Jewish Cultural that works. Studies. Yeah. So uh, I'm here uh, fulfilling my dream. I mm -hmm. came here for meeting. Uh, okay, well, some people come and meeting isn't necessarily found in suddenly finding themselves working in the conflict. Are you living in Shterot? Um, part time, uh, wow. half and half between Jerusalem and Sterot, mm -hmm. because I'm doing conferences such as this in Jerusalem, right? And um, living here in Jerusalem and living in, there in Sterot. So you actually came in the middle of the war, pretty much. Exactly. Three days after the war began, mm -hmm. the operation began, I got on the plane and landed here. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> definitely jumping right in. How do your parents feel about it? Oh, my family is very supportive. Yeah. Uh, they, they, uh, they're very proud. It's mixed. I mean, it's. It's not to say it's not difficult. Uh, Aliyah is a very difficult time, a very mm -hmm. emotional time. Right. But when you get off the plane and tell somebody you're an Olei Chadash and everybody hugs you and says Mazel Tov, Mazel you're Tov, home. you know that it's worth it. Right. And um, it, it, it really brings uh, a lot of emotions out and mm -hmm. it has deep meaning. And I came to Sterot. I, I knew Noam's work. I, I've uh, done stuff with him before. With Noam Bedin from Noam Sterot Bedin, Media. Sorry. Right. And... I really believe in what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, Israel's voice is being heard through the stories of Sterot. Right. To it's a great a, degree. Uh, Rockets have been falling there for eight years, and now, you know, because of the operation, only is the media starting to pay attention to Sterot. Mm -hmm. And it's not enough. Uh, they're portraying the scenes in Gaza, but they don't portray the scenes in Sterot. Right. This has been happening for eight years. And as we see in this last operation, this isn't just a war fought in tanks and tunnels. Mm -hmm. This is a war fought in newsrooms. TV stations, right. newspapers, on the internet. Radio shows like Radio this one. shows. <laughs> so uh, that's right. what we're trying to do. Get the message out. The, portray the human side of the conflict mm -hmm. that people sometimes forget to see. People are too, you know, mixed up in the numbers here. This mm -hmm. many shot, this many uh, right. fell. This, this is not is the Israel issue. And Israel somehow is the aggressor and they forget about our victims. Uh, I, what I, my message that I've been getting out through, I just wrote an article called The Stero Challenge. And... The message I'm trying to portray to, to the news media and the outside world that have condemned Israel for its actions being disproportionate or such is I said, come to Sterot, visit Sterot, right. come try, walk down the street in Sterot, take a shower in Sterot, try to go and sleep in Sterot, and then you will see what disproportionate really means. Yeah. Yeah. Which I never understood anyhow. We're supposed to be aiming random rockets at their civilians because that would be proportionate because right. that's what exactly. they've been doing to us. Can you imagine if during the Intifada, <laughs> I mean, Israel walked into cafes in Ramallah and blew themselves right. up. Right. No, no I'm happy Israel acts the way it does. It, it well, because we have a moral be... standard that our enemy can't even begin to understand. What are you going to be doing exactly for Shavuot Media? You're going to be going to traveling now? Um, I'm hoping to do a lot of advocacy and uh, media work, advocating for Israel through the voice of Sterot. And um, yes, yeah, so I'll be traveling hopefully in the United States and Canada. If someone wants to be in touch with you, maybe invite you to their university or to their community, how would they do that? Uh, you can go to our website, sterotmedia.com. Our okay. contact info is there and check out all the materials we have there. Very and good. also you can uh, email us directly. Uh, mm -hmm. You can, uh, you know, there's multiple email addresses. Right, right. Okay, that so. way they find you. Thank you. Good luck with your Aliyah. Good luck with your work for us. Thank you so much, And uh, welcome home. Thank you.